Sternberg 1966 was the first to report the effect of target set size on reaction time. Sternberg 1966 used target sets of sizes 1, 2, 4, 4. So here what we have is a reference that is the same inside of the same paragraph. And we also have included the date here, which we really don't need. Now, if we wanted to write the date here, not inside parentheses, but just open like this for some reason we wanted to mention the date we could but in this case we're just really talking about that paper it's not really related to that year the topic we're writing about is not related to that year that is so we want to go ahead and just use the MLA style which is we don't need the year that's an APA style thing so we go ahead and cut that out so here we just have the name Sternberg was the first to report the effect size and then later here Sternberg again use the target set. We don't need to do anything special. Now, of course, we could reference the page number if we wanted to, for example, 123, if, we, if this information was specific to that. But if the information was not specific to that, it's just the whole general paper, then we go ahead and we can just use the name in that case. So the MLA is more flexible this way than the APA. Garcia and Cooling, 1966, demonstrated that rats could learn aversions to specific flavors with minimal training. To do so, Garcia et al. exposed rats to noxious radiation shortly after they drank water with a distinctive flavor. And of course, here we can say this year here, it doesn't seem right for the MLA. We have two authors, one, two, so we go ahead and we write both of them. We use the conjunction and, and we have no date. If we wanted to, we could have the page number here. For example, 125 is the page. But if we're just citing the whole work in general, we don't have to have the page either. Hans, Sturck, and Bank, 325, used biofeedback to treat asthma and gamble and elder, 67, used it to reduce muscle tension in addition to biofeedback. Han et al., 326, used a form of classical conditioning. So here we can see that we are a little bit better because here we have the page number, that's correct, for MLA, that's right. But here we have a problem, we have one, two, three authors. In MLA, if you have three or more authors, even the first time, you go ahead and use et al. right from the beginning. And then down here we have Gam Gamble and Elder, 67, that looks good, and you use the conjunction and, no problem. And then down here, we've got this con problem. So we've got con et al. And that's okay, con et al. It will be multiple authors, three or more, use et al. Diaz, Guruno, Gururo, Rees, Langoons, Witz, and Holtman, Diaz, Guru et al. So here, this is strange. We're repeating the names again for some strange reason. And then again, we're repeating the names in the second sentence. And now we have a year. Boy, that's all messed up. So what do we do here? Right away, we use at all. We use at all because we have one, two, three, four authors, three or more use at all, even from the beginning. Again, in the second sentence, at all, again, we don't need to write them out. And here, we do not have any dates because we do not include dates in the MLA. We do not include the year. Best Williams, Cloud Davies, Rob Robertson, Edwards, Giles, and Fowles. Oh boy, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight authors. So of course, Right away, we're going to use at all. Changes in the delusions of Chinese schizophrenic patients have accompanied changes in Chinese society, Yu Fen and Nung, 1981. Here we have this problem and a comma. That is very unusual. That does not belong in MLA. So for MLA, what could we do? We just have the name and conjunction. Remember, 
no ampersand like in APA we would use an ampersand there and the name here. We could include a page number but here we didn't, we're just citing the whole work. One example of computer simulation of human problem solving performance is the general problem solver, Newell, Shaw, and Simon, the process of creative thinking, period. Boy, that's looking weird. Newell and Simon, GPS, a program that simulates human thought. Newell and Simon. Boy, this has lots of problems. One example of computer simulation of human problem solving performance is the general problem solver. So we have the open parentheses, closed parentheses, much more straightforward. And we have the at all here because it's three or more authors. And we have the name of a chapter or a subpart of a larger whole. Newell and Simon, that is two authors. We don't use that all because it's just two, it's not three or more. And then one of the chapters is called GPS, and one of the chapters is called Human. So these are two works, but by the same authors. Contemporary approaches, Rescora and Common, Heyman, focus on the role of informational variables and cognitive processes in classical conditioning. And here we have this problem of who goes first. And as in the APA, we have rules about this. So you want to make sure that when you have multiple authors inside the same per parenthetical, that you want to go ahead and use their alphabetical order, which in this case would be K comes before R. And don't forget the semicolon to separate the two separate sources. Postulates 1 and 2, page 47 of Hall, specify the neural effects of external stimuli. And of course, this is a little bit strange, right? This looks like it's backwards. So the correct answer would be Hall, no comma, 47. What is 47? That's the page number. According to Naomi Barron, page 194, reading is just half of literacy, the other half is writing. We do have a quotation here, so it's very important for a quotation to tell what page is it from. But in MLA, the way we do this is we simply write the page inside the parentheses. We're using the author's name inside the sentence. So we could put it right in here, couldn't we? One, nine, four. However, because the quotation is later, it's best to put it right after the quotation so we can see exactly what it is we're talking about. Although cats, dogs, and mice do not show the same kind of biased lateral laterality in paw preference as humans do in handedness, songbirds to show do, I think that should be, do show a pattern of asymmetry in brain control of song that is similar to the pattern of brain control in speech in humans, Springer and Deutsch, 1981, chapter eight. Now this is very confusing because we've got a bunch of problems here. This looks like APA style. We got this here, which of course MLA does not do. We have this here, which MLA does not do. And then furthermore, what we do have is something different for MLA. So MLA is just the A and D and the two authors, comma, and chapter is small ch with a period after it and eight. So that's the MLA approach. And the problem here is these are very specific. MLA has one way to do it. APA has a different way to do it. You need to really check how do they do their abbreviation. They're different, very annoying, but get the book and follow the advice in the book. Very key.